Welcome back to 842 Media. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to add and manage tracks onto your timeline. So you're going to want to go to your timeline where the tracks are and where it says audio one or audio two or even video one. You can right click on the side here and then go down to add tracks or you can go to just add track. If you just want to add one track, we're going to add multiple tracks. So we're going to click on this. This pops up. And now it gives you the option to add video tracks and audio tracks. We don't actually want to add any video tracks. So we're going to go this to zero. And then we want to add two audio tracks. And here it also says insert position. So this dep uh, depending on where you want to insert these tracks, you can manage it right here. So you can uh, below audio two, uh, above first track. Uh, but we're going to keep it out where it's now because we actually have th this audio as the sync audio. So it should be connected to the video. And then below here, we have the audio track type. It is most of the time going to be stereo. However, in some cases, you might have mono audio. Um, but just be aware of that and you can change it later on in, the, uh, in your editing process if you'd like. So we're going to add tracks. And now we're going to give these tracks a name. So we can change that by just clicking on the name. And this one is our sync audio. Audio two is going to be our effects. Audio three is going to be our effects two. And then audio four is going to be our music, which we already have. So now that we have all our tracks set up, we're actually going to change the color of these tracks so it's easier to distinguish what audio we're working with. So as you can see here, uh, the two audio uh, clips that are actually in the timeline right now are both uh, the same color. So it's easier to distinguish them when we're going to add these colors. So let's do that right now. So we're going to go to sync, right click, go down to change track color, and we're going to go with lime. Same thing for effects one, change track color. We're going to go with teal. Effects two, change color. Let's go with purple. And then with music, we are going to go to, let's do beige. Perfect. So now let's edit some audio effects into the timeline. Initially, what you're going to want to do is you can see that right over here, the audio one is selected. We want to actually select audio two so that everything that we edit from our source viewer will go straight into this um, audio track right over here into audio one effects one. So let's add some effects. We want to go to from our master bin. We want to go to our sound effects and we're going to add a metal effect. I like this one and this is what we're going to do. As you can see up here, we can actually see the full audio length. So we're going to go up here, press I, go all the way back here, press O. And now we have two choices. We can either click and drag it into the timeline viewer and just overwrite it, or we can actually just press the overwrite button right over here. And as you can see here, the uh, effects track is actually colored a different, has a different color than the rest of the tracks. This is what we did earlier. Now we're going to continue doing this and adding these sound effects into the track. So as you can see, I've added all my sound effects that I'd like. We have our music down here and our synchronized audio over here. This is actually how most of your videos are going to end up looking. Well, guys, if you have any questions, please comment down below. Leave a like if this helped you. Thank you guys for watching and have a great day.